apparitions, ghostly orbs, or restless spirits give you the creeps? Or does it bring out the ghost hunter in you? You know, Memphis, Tennessee is said to be a supernatural hotbed. Here's a look at the best of what's inside haunted Memphis. Memphis may be synonymous with Elvis and barbecue, but dig a little deeper into this nearly 200-year-old city that sits at the mouth of the Wolf River, and you'll find a bunch of landmarks and locations with haunted histories. One of the most famous landmarks is the Orpheum Theater. Catch a movie in this beautiful 1928 building, and you might also catch a glimpse of a ghost named Mary. She's a woman who lost her life just outside the theater in the 1920s, and since then, there have been sightings of Mary seeking refuge in the box seats. Then there's the Woodruff Fontaine House, which was once the home to Molly Woodruff Henning, who's said to still haunt the Rose Room. Having lost two children and a husband in the room, some believe that Molly's grief keeps her in the house. Her most famous appearance was on the museum's opening day, when the ghost of Mrs. Woodruff reportedly told the tour guide, my bed doesn't go there. So where does a visitor with an appreciation for haunted history stay in Memphis? Well, the inn at Hunt Phelan, a bed and breakfast known for its lingering guests, just might fit the bill. Not only have four presidents spent the night here, but the Hunt Phelan house played a role in some of the country's most tumultuous history. It was once a stop on the Underground Railroad, with many slaves passing through its halls. This very inn was even General Grant's headquarters for the Union Army during the Civil War. Well, the house was built in um, 1828. Now, the room you're standing in is one of the most famous rooms here. This, this was General Grant's headquarters when 17 soldiers died in this house. I don't know how many slaves. In Memphis, even kicking back for some fun can have haunted implications. There's a bar and restaurant in downtown Memphis called Ernestine Hazel's that's reported to have so much paranormal activity that it keeps the city's ghost hunters coming back for more. The first time we investigated, it was a drive-by. We were just looking for places that we thought might be haunted, and our EMF detector went off the scale, and that's what got us to walk in. During World War II, Ernestine Hazel's had a brothel upstairs. Today, many claim that the ladies of the evening, the patrons, still hang around and have a good time, which can really unnerve the real live customers. This actually has an uncanny way of playing a song that pertains to the conversation that you're having. We've witnessed it at least a half a dozen times ourselves. That's the, the spirit's way of letting you know, you know, we're here. Whether you're exploring an old theater, an inn that pulsates with history, or a bar with its own sordid past, for visitors with an eye and an ear for the unusual, Memphis can really come to life.